Oh, what's up guys? Today, me and Houston, Emily and Daniel, he's Camry, from Arms Family Homestead. Today, we're trying to catch some crawdads and Dutch from Keeping That Dutch, he thinks he's a better crawdad hunter and he's not because we have way more here. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We've posted several videos lately and thrown in a few old pieces of old videos and everyone has seemed to love it. We did a whole story about the bridge and story about, you know, when I left the patrol three years ago and all that, but it kind of gave me an idea and, I, you know, it's hard for me to understand that, you know, sub subscribers and followers come in over the years and they may not go back and watch old footage. And I've been watching a bunch of old videos and it just got me really hooked on watching them it's like going back and watching old family videos for us and we're gonna do something a little bit different today this creek has been a vital part of our channel of our family's life i mean let's let's face it houston jacoby and i have probably done two to three hundred videos down here at the creek and it all kind of started off trapping crawdads and bluegill and all that stuff and big crawdads we call them creek monsters so today's video we're just going to do some throwback we're going to do about two hours worth of creek monsters at the creek hope you guys enjoy so we're back down at the creek and look at all these minnows they're just everywhere and we're going to pull all these minnow traps up and crawdad traps and we're apparently going to keep some crawdads and some minnows and yeah all right we'll get the traps let's see what you caught in your little mayonnaise jar looking trap i don't know if there be um, anything in there or not but it was yesterday so i guarantee you there's going to be something dude i'm not touching that well, it's got dirt all over it let's clean it off a little bit get some of the water out Hey, look at there. How many? There's, looks like three crawdads. No, there's one, two, three, four. There's five crawdads in that trap. I'm closest right now. You're closest on the first trap, huh? Yeah. All right. No. Nothing in there? Oh, yeah. What's in there? Crawdad. Just one? Yep. Where? Where's he at? Oh, he's an itty bitty one. Oh, one little bitty crawdad in there. Wait, where's Oh, well, it counts. Let's see. What's going to be in there? Pick it up and let's see. Nothing. Oh, oh yeah, there is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We're keeping those. We're keeping those. What's in there? Let's see it. You didn't hold it up. We're keeping those. Oh man, Houston. Those are ginormous. You got some big crawdads in that one. Those are monsters. We'll have to open that up and look at them. Whoop. We're gonna have to keep those. Let's lay it there. Okay. We got two more. I'll open the big one. I'll get the Hang on. other one. Kobe's going to get this one. I'll get the other one. You don't have to go out in the deep water, Kobe. Stay shallow. Bella, what's in there? How many how many crawdads are in there, Bella? Hmm? What you got, Kobe? Bring it over here. Let's see. What's in there, man? Minnows. Oh Two. no. No crawdads in that one. Well, I'm winning so far with the crawdads. Set that right there. No, pick it up and put it over there. Alright, I'll go get the one that's out in the deep water, okay? I told you guys the other day when we put those crawfish traps out that this this dead tree, this fallen tree in the water would be a perfect habitat for crawfish, crawdads, whatever you're going to call them. And there's two big ones in that cage that was in that trap that was in that tree. So let's see what's out here in the deep water. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> I, 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 
Whew. 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 Hmm. All right, Houston, you're not. Whew. It's heavy. <laughs> I saw what was in it. I caught a glimpse. Catfish. All right, hang on. Hang on. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Get back, Bella. Back up, boys. Back up. Back up. Back up. Gave me the heebie jeebies here. You ready? The catfish. What is that? Oh! There's a snake. What is it? A snake. <laughs> we caught a pretty good sized little catfish, but uh, we got a problem. That guy's probably not real happy with us. <laughs> I saw something that looked like a log and I thought it would be snake. It was. Be careful. Get back, boys. Get back. Jeez. I don't know if he's alive because he's been underwater for so long. He should. He's probably dead. Yeah, I think the snake got trapped underwater. See, they have to come up and breathe. And he went in that trap to catch a fish and he didn't make it out to get oxygen. But he's laying there with his mouth wide open. Get what back, you, boys. We need to get in, in the water. What kind of snake is it? It's a water snake. Well, he's definitely stiff. And we got a huge catfish. I'd say huge. For a minnow trap, it's huge. All right, let's go get everything out of these traps, okay? Holy crap. I know I saw something that looked like a log. What do you think? Oh Is that what you expected to catch in your minnow trap today? No. <laughs> no. All right. Well, let's go count everything that we got. I'll work on getting that snake out. Take those traps up to the buggy, boys. Okay. Yeah. Here. I'll open this up and you dump them in there, okay? Is he out? Yeah. Look at the size of these two. Man, Houston, those are like eating size. Look at the pinchers on that guy. What do you think, Bella? Let him pinch you. Come on, Bella. Come on. Let him pinch your ear. Let's see this other one. Well, we know where to go to find the big crawfish now, don't we? Yep. It has a little bit of blue on its side. All right. Let's see what Kobe's got. We got to open it up here, Kobe. We got three little bluegill. So there's just one little bitty one in that one, right? Yeah. Where's he at? Excuse me? One little bitty guy. So the trap that has been the most successful is the goofy looking little $3 mayonnaise jar looking trap. It has the most. Now, it didn't have the biggest, obviously. That crawl is like yeah. See how many are actually in here. Yeah. All right. Three. Is there, was there three? Yup. All right, y'all count up how many crawdads we got in there. I don't know if there's any in the big trap. Oh, there's another bug. Seven. Seven, huh? I can't count. Well, let's go see. I'm not sure if there was any in the big snake trap, but I gotta get that snake out of there. Yeah, there's eight. There's eight. I don't know if that was a poisonous snake or not. I'm pretty sure it's dead, but I wanna make sure. All right, back up, boys. Back up. Oh, look at that guy. I think Emma or Mom was it here. I have no idea what kind of snake that is, but it looks like a good one to eat. No, no, we're not eating that snake. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely a good snake. That's a dead water snake. I don't mind losing water snakes in the creek at all, because that just makes it safer for us down here. Mom gets freaked out when snakes are at the creek. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what all we got. Let's uh Get everything into one tub with some clean water so we can show everybody what we got, okay? I think he got bit. Well, it was probably from that snake. 
the snake got in there and tried to eat him. What do you think? But at least he's still okay. I mean, that was a pretty good night of, of fish trapping. I mean, we got some, we got two really big crawdads. Now we know where all the craw we got a, big crawdads are. Houston's wanting to put this catfish in his in his little fish pond, but I told him that's too big because he'd eat all the rest of our fish. But these little crawfish like that make good food for our fish in the tank. Most of these bluegill, those are, those are too big to be feeding to what we got, so we'll turn those back in the creek probably. That one's a, a little green sunfish is way too big to put in our tank. So, what's the official count? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was the closest. Eight crawfish. I win. <laughs> you guessed too high, Kobe. So definitely not a bad night. I got spots on the lens. I got my camera, or my my phone's dinging, getting text messages. Probably Dutch. Dutch is always texting me. Anyway, so we got eight crawfish overnight, three or four little bluegill, a pretty good sized little catfish, a green sunfish, no minnows. We didn't catch any small minnows. I I just knew one of those traps would probably have six or eight little minnows in it that we could put in the pond. So not a bad night of trapping. It's very hot out here, by the way. So, we're going to turn everything loose except maybe the little small crawdads. No, we're keeping the big crawdads. What are you going to do with them? Mm. How many crawdads are you going to put in your little pond? Only these two big ones. But you already got like four or five other ones in there. We'll take them back, though. We'll put them in there. Yeah. So, I guess we're feeding a lot of crawfish. So far... We've only lost, we, we lost the big creek monster a while back. That guy only lasted less than 24 hours. The rest of the crawfish have stayed alive in Houston's little pond. We got that little floating bubbler. Well, it's supposed to be a fountain, but it's a solar powered fountain. They get up underneath. There's an air cavity underneath it, and they'll suck up on the bottom of that and get oxygen. They're living just fine. So anyways, we're going to get all this wrapped up, get everything put up. We got rid of one snake. That may be a cottonmouth, but I'm not positive. The cotton, around here, cottonmouth is a poisonous water snake. We've got lots of water moccasins that are non-poisonous, but they're usually longer and slimmer. The cottonmouth, at least in our area, is usually a short, thick snake. And when they open their mouth, it's solid white. It looks like cotton. And they're very poisonous. They're a very aggressive water snake. The rest of them are real passive. They don't bother you. I don't know for sure. I'm not going to open his mouth. He is dead. He didn't... He got in that trap overnight and died. I, my intention is not to come out here and kill animals. We're not here to kill the snakes and kill the fish, but it's just kind of a, it kind of happens. And I'm not, I'm not too worried about killing a snake because our family is on this creek all the time and friends come down here, people come down here. So if that was a venomous cottonmouth, I'm fine with getting rid of it. There's a lot of water snakes. You guys saw in the, the nighttime footage when Houston and I were out here frog hunting the other night, he, uh, we, we found one little snake. We didn't bother that one. We left it there, and it's just fine. But it is what it is. So Houston wins. Houston wins the crawfish competition. But I am. I'm really thinking putting those traps out there next to that tree lured in some big crawfish that are almost big enough for a catch and cook, Houston. I'm thinking maybe in the future as the summer progresses and Houston gets good at catching crawfish he gets this mastered maybe we can catch enough crawfish to do a crawfish catch clean and cook houston what do you think i'm the best for catching them talk normal would you eat a crawfish out of your own creek yes you would yes i know bear would wouldn't you emily emily's the crawfish person she loves eating crawfish so let's turn that off so the water's slick bella sure wish you'd go somewhere else and pant all right houston Reach down in there and get them big crawdads. So we decided to go ahead and stop down at the creek with the nets and net a few more minnows since we were down to three already and we didn't catch any in the traps. So we did catch four or five minnows. Didn't show you guys that. Houston was dying to bring these big crawfish back. So he's going to put them in his pond. We're going to all have to listen to Bella pant because it's just hotter than Hades here in Oklahoma. So let's get them in the pond. I turned the water off, turned the waterfall off so we can see everything. So let's get them in there. Hang on, wait, buddy. 
Wait, 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 wait. Pick it up. Look at the size of that one. Ah! Uh, All right, set him in there. His legs. Hold on, How many heads can we fit in one bucket? Got him? Yep. Why didn't you just grab a hold of him? Oh, there he goes. Mmm. Oh. Woo! Had a little fight going on under the rock. Holy cow. They don't like each them. other. That crawfish wouldn't take no smack off that catfish, though. Oh, here they go. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, look at his bubbles. Yep. So we're going to put one little worm in there to see if anybody's hungry, so let's do it. There go, so we can see it. Jeez, Kobe. He's thinking about it, Houston. Is he alive? He's watching that worm. Go for it, buddy. You got this. You can do this. So guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go down there and smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And we'll see you on next video. Peace. Go pull your trap up. Let's see what you caught. Let's see if there's anything in there. Let's see what kind of bait fish you got in your pond here. What'd you catch? I don't know. We didn't catch a lot, but you got two minnows in there. Let's open it up. We're not keeping these, buddy. They'll stay here. Hang on. Oh, oh, come back. Come back. I have no idea what Those happened. look like little baby shiners to me. I'm pretty sure those are little shiners. Same. They're pretty. Here, we're not keeping them, so you want to turn them back in the pond? Since we're just trying to catch them just to see what we got. Well, that wasn't very gentle. <laughs> Man, I'm a little nicer than you. I'm trying to keep these babies alive. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the water is just loaded with little fish. Little tiny fish. Bait fish to feed our bass here in the bass pond. Houston, you know what we need to do over here at the pond? What? We need to set up a fish feeder. It'd be cool to put a big fish feeder up on the dam and let it throw fish feed out there so the fish will start coming in and eating and we can actually see them eat. What do you think? Yeah. You guys think we need a fish feeder on the pond dam? I, yes. I think it'd be awesome. It'd be yeah. a pretty cool little project to set up and see what all comes and eat. All right, let's go check the other one. I'll drop this time. Threw the other trap out back here on the back side of the pond. Now there's there is a lot of moss in there, but our trap sank down. I don't know. We're just we're just trying to see what we can catch, just to see what's in here. So let's pull this one out. Ah, we blinked on that one, Houston. They took all of our food. No fish in that trap. Oh look, actually I was wrong. <laughs> Those are babies. <laughs> Let's go look at them. That, those are so we actually did catch some fish. They're just the teeny tiniest little things you ever seen, huh, Houston? Yeah. Oh. Look at these little guys. Oh, dropped one. Oh. Little bitty bluegill right there. And then, I'm not sure, those may be baby bluegill too. That means, Houston, what? that our bluegill are spawning in the pond. You know what that means? What? They're having babies. <gasps> and that right there will grow up to be bass food in the pond. That's awesome. That's what we want to see right there. That is exciting to me. So it won't hurt to keep just a few. We're going to put these in the bucket and take these and put in Houston's little fish pond. There's probably a million of these in this pond, so it ain't going to hurt anything keeping a few. So yeah. that's, that's food for your fish now. Mm.
Well, Houston and I made it down to the creek. This is the area where we saw all the crawdads last night. You guys will see the footage of that. It doesn't look the same at night, but this, it's deep on that side of the creek, but this side over here where Bella's swimming around and putting her head underwater is real shallow. And those crawdads were, were just everywhere. So we brought every trap that Houston's got right now. Everything, you guys have seen some of these. Um, this is the expandable trap that uh, we got from Battle Box. We got the dedicated actual crawfish trap and these funnel type minnow traps. And then Houston's actually got another one, a little small. This is actually a minnow trap, but it, we're going to see what it catches. We're going to put them all out. We're going to bait them out with dog food and let them soak overnight because the crawfish are obviously more active at night than they are during the daytime. But we're going to set these things out. There's a, a tree that has fallen in the creek right there. So that's like perfect structure for every little small creature that lives in the creek to hide in. So we'll put these traps in the shallow water and we'll check them in the morning. You guys, that'll probably be on another video. We'll go ahead and show all the footage of everything we did down here last night. And then we'll check back in on the next video and show you, maybe not the next video, in a later video and show you what all we caught here. He's right there. What is it? I found a frog. A frog? Yeah. The little one? Yeah, he's right there. The creek is just full of little bitty minnows right now. You got to catch some of those for your for your little pond so you can feed your catfish because he likes those minnows. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. All right, let's get your traps ready. No, just come down right there. Snake! That wasn't a snake. Oh man, I tried to scare you. It sure looked like a snake. You didn't even jump. <laughs> all right, got all the Houston's minnow and crawfish traps out. Got one here in the shallow, one over by a tree limb, one right there next to that drop off, one out in a little deeper water. And then Gemma's over there on the little mayonnaise jar looking trap. All right, Houston, how many crawfish do you think you'll catch tonight? I don't know. Around 500. 500? I'm going to go with um, 15. That's really Houston quick. says 500. I say 15. I take that back. I say 10. He says 10. All right, so the traps are out. Everything's set. It's early in the morning, so... We're not gonna we're not gonna put on this video the results. You'll have to come back and watch in a later video. We gotta go catch some minnows to add to his fish pond because his catfish is probably hungry. And starving. Starving. Dude. Probably so. But we're gonna go ahead and roll the footage of everything we saw out here last night while Houston was wanting to go frog hunting. Yeah. Yeah. And we finally saw the bullfrog. Oh, they don't know that yet. Alright. Alright. So here's that footage. Hey, what? what are we doing down here in the dark again? Uh, Look at me. We're frog hunting. Frog hunting? Yeah. Have you caught any yet? No. What about crawdads? Yeah. I think we need to come down here and put our traps out at night in the creek. There's lots of crawdads moving around the creek at night. Here out there. Good job, Bella. You're always in the way. Are you making a video? Drawing the light at me. Big old crawdad boy. <laughs> that ain't the creek monster, though. We need to find another big one like that, huh? Ah! Get back, Bella. Get back. Can you catch him? Oh, he got away from you, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, gee. Is that a bullfrog? No, it's not a bullfrog. I 
I never caught one of these before. Huh? Ah, well, let's see if you can catch him. It's blinding. I'd say you got him blinded. Oh! Ah, why'd you try to grab his back leg? Because that's the only way that you can do it. No! You just put your hand over the top of him. Like a cup over the top of him, okay? Kind of water snake. I want to get close to that ball you. Yeah. Let's get out of his way. Yeah. I'm scared of snakes, kind of. <laughs> well, he ain't bothering us. We'll leave him alone, all right? Yeah. He's probably trying to find a frog, too. Nope. Did you get him? Oh, no. Oh, close. Oh, look at the product. Houston, look at that. Is that why you wanted to come down here? Yes. You you want to catch a big frog like that? Yes. All right, you got to be fast. Bella, get back. Oh my gosh. Bella, get back. That thing is huge. I don't even hey. know if I can catch him. Yeah, you can. Go get a net for me. Okay, I'll go get a net. I'll go under me. You come back behind him and catch him. Oh, he just went under. There he goes. Please. There he goes. Oh man. Here, hold your net. We should have just caught him with our hands. Yeah. He swam off. I bet he pops up right over there somewhere though. Oh, a comment. Just, just wait. I bet he pops up. About 20 more that size and we'd have a meal, Houston. Frog legs. I know. Oh, jeez. Oh. Really? You let that one get away? You just gotta get behind him, you see? Hold him to the ground like that. There you go. You want him in your net? Well, that was definitely interesting. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. Houston said we need to go to the creek. Oh, I got bugs in my eyes. There's about, a eight, there's about eight billion bugs out here. But Houston said we need to go to the creek and catch some frogs. We don't have a lot of bullfrogs in Oklahoma. Well. We don't have a lot of bullfrogs in our creek in this area of Oklahoma. There's a lot of bullfrogs in Oklahoma. But we found one, a bullfrog, and it was so huge. And Houston wouldn't catch it with his hands. Because I'm scared to touch it. <laughs> so what's up, guys? Today, me and Houston, Emily and Daniel, he's Cameron, from Arms Family Homestead. Today, we're trying to catch some crawdads and Dutch from Keeping That Dutch, he thinks he's a better crawdad hunter. And he's not because we have met way more in here. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. You think we got more crawfish than he does? Yeah. That's right. We're back down at the creek. We were out of town for a couple of days. Houston stayed with, with Grandma and some friends. And me and Emily and Mom and the girls all went to Fort Worth and took all those pictures. And uh, it was... Boring. It was, it was fun. No. No, it was fun. We have to say, it was fun. We loved it. Yeah. It was right up our alley, right? Yeah. Oh, anyway. So, we have had a billion comments about these crawfish traps, about what to use for bait. Hey, don't grab them yet, Houston. We have not checked our traps. We put them out last night. But so far, we've tried bacon. We've tried dog food. We've tried bread. Uh, today, or last night, when we set them out. We used a couple different new options. One was good old B-L-O-G-N-A. Bologna. You know, Oscar Mayer, B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Anyways, so we put out one trap of bologna, but everyone has been saying the secret weapon, the secret bait for catching the most crawfish is canned dog food. So 
We put one out, we put one trap with a can of dog food, poked a bunch of holes in it and threw it out. So let's see what we caught today. Oh, there's two crawdads right here. Let's try to catch them. Oh, little bitty ones, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know if I can see them on camera or not. Oh, they're over here. Hey, Houston got one. Hey, you got one, buddy. A little bitty one. I've never caught one like that before. You got a tiny crawdad, didn't you? Yeah. That one, that one would make perfect Kathy food. Yeah. For the catfish. Houston? What? Go check that little mayonnaise jar trap first. Come here. Mayonnaise? Well, it looks like a mayonnaise jar. Oh, That's I what I call it. it. Oh, hey. Oh, I missed one. There was one right there. Move the rock. And let's see what's in that one. Pick it up. Oh, it felt something. It felt something. What you catch? Hey, easy. You're going to lose them. Hold your hand over it and drain the water out. Let's see it. Hold it up. Let's see what you caught. Some crawdads. Oh, hey, there's a minnow in there too. Probably dying in there too. Uh, Bella, what what did you do with our little crawfish? We just put it in the tub. Uh, Stay out of them, Bella. We caught a butterfly. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty nice size. Look at there. Yeah. That little trap right there caught five crawfish Holy and a really cool looking little minnow. I think that is a frog. No, it's not a frog. Well, that is a really cool looking minnow. I think Jim, that, I don't eat that. I think that's a tadpole. That is not a tadpole. It's a minnow. It looks like it's pregnant. So this little jar trap, uh, I mean, for just costing a couple bucks, this thing is like perfect crawfish trap. And it's super cheap. I'll see if I can find oh, this on Amazon. Elite. If you guys are looking for a, a cheap, cheap, cheap trap that works, we'll leave a link in the description box down below if I can find this. Okay, now it's my Bella, trap. hey, stay away from our crawfish. I will guard. No, you gotta go get traps. I'll get this. Oh, Emily's gonna get the next one. All right, Emily, that's where the snake came from in the last crawfish video. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you get scared, sis? Yes. Are oh, you kidding me? What'd you catch? One fish. One bluegill. Let me see. No crawdad. That is supposed to be a crawfish trap, and it never catches many crawfish, does it? No. Put him in the bucket. Let's see what we... Dump him in there. Oh. Ah! Drop that right on Jimmy's head. There's the fish, though. Old Butterfingers dropped the trap and all. I saved our fish. Still got our catch. Around and around he goes. He needs more water. It's running. It's doing something. Now this is supposed to be the honey hole, right? And then what you said, that's where the big ones are going to come from. Oh. No crawdads in that one either. What do we caught? Four minnows and a bluegill. Hey, minnows are minnows are good for the for the fish pond. Kathy, Kathy likes the minnows, Kathy don't she? Do we have another trap? Out? Yeah. Easy. Put them all the one end, and then open it. Uh -huh. Or drop it right on their head. <laughs> so the first two traps, those first, well. Technically, I guess the first three traps, those were all baited with just dog food. Oh, so we haven't got to the baloney and the canned dog this, food trap yet. This looks like a baby shiner. It's a, sh it's a kind of fish. Or... Alright, next trap. You see, the, you see the white tape hanging from the limb? So this is the big collapsible trap and I put the canned dog food in it. And we stuck it way over by that tree. Ah. Let's see what we caught. Hopefully Emily don't pull us out another big snake. Dad, Drag it over here and let's show everybody. Ooh, I see some goodies in there. Oh <laughs> let's see if that canned dog Whoa, food did the trick. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at those catfish. Oh, there's another 
one. This thing is loaded. Oh my gosh. With big ones. Holy There's crap. my three giant <laughs> I've seen a bigger catfish than that. Well, I would say the canned dog food did the trick for sure. I mean, hey, look at the he's size. Trying he's trying to get out. Oh, you got one trying to escape. <laughs> you won't let go. We got two catfish. Hey, crawfish. Let go. Little crawdad. Get up here. Get up here. Let go of the trap. I don't want to pull your pincher off. Let go. Bella. Bella, Bella quit. Get. Look at that guy. Look at the catfish. That is a big catfish. But I've seen a bigger one than that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Let's dump. Holy moly. Look at that. We got some big ones under that tree. They're fat. We hey, are way better than The Dutch. canned dog food worked. definitely worked. Yeah. We Did you hear what Emily said, Dutch? She said, we're definitely better than Dutch. Keeping it Dutch is not Good. the Creek Monster Crawfish yeah. Trap Minnow Trap King on YouTube. Wait, he wait. can try. There's blue on this thing. There's blue. He can try to blue. take our glory, but right yeah, here. Blue. There's blue. Is there blue on him? Yeah, there's blue. This right here. Creek monster crawfish trapping crawdad catching king and queen of YouTube right now. Ugh. Not keeping it Dutch. Yeah. All right. But look Let's at see this. some of those big monsters. Look, look at, at this. this. Look at that. Look at this. Houston. What? Those that was are creek funny. monster crawdads think, right there. I think this one is a mama. You think so? Yeah. Cause look if, at this. If we keep. Oh. If we keep both of these. If we're keeping all of these hold that catfish wow. nice catfish for a minnow trap can't beat that Nope. All right, we've still got one more trap. Ooh, look how blue looking that one is Houston. I, I told you it's like silver and blue I'm gonna see Don't that. let it, that dude pinch me <laughs> Okay, we still got one more trap left clearly the canned dog food was the cat's meow uh, Crawdads meow, I, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. We've got one more trap that we put over here in a little deeper water. This one had the baloney in it. And my camera is not focusing, there we go. This one we baited with baloney, and it's up here on this high bank, but we put it over right by the big root ball on this tree. Houston, you want to pull it up? Where is it? The string's right there. Don't drop it now. Pull it up and let's see what you got. Anything in there? I don't know. Oh, dang. <laughs> you got it all tangled up in the tree roots. Give it a yank. See if you can pull it up over that limb. There you go. What we catch? Oh. Two minnows. No, two. three. 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 Three of them. Three, three bluegill three. minnows. Three little bluegill. And that one had the good old Oscar Mayer B O L O G N A. Some of you young folks won't know the song. I don't know. I don't even like baloney. So. so you guys have been asking for that Creek Monster Crawdad Catch and Cook. Y'all want to see us catch some big crawdads, crawfish, whatever you want to call them. Some people, I've had people from other, like Australia, call, say they call them yabbies, but uh, we call them crawdads, crawfish, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. They're creek monsters in our book, huh, Houston? Yeah. yeah. And you guys have been asking for a catch and cook. Well, we don't quite have enough bear. Y'all, time out. Pause the video. Got to love on bear for a minute. He gets talking to the camera. Okay. That's good, bear. So you guys have been asking for a crawdad catch and cook. We don't have enough to do, Bella. You better not be eating them. We don't have enough to do the full catch and cook yet, but we'll save some of these. We'll start storing them back. We'll... We'll keep them in a trap down here in a cage down at the creek. And uh, maybe in the next couple oh, yeah. days, we'll have enough to where we can actually cook a few and see what they taste like. So stick around because it looks like we're going to have enough crawfish catching, crawdad catching to do a catch and cook. Emily, would you eat a crawdad straight out of our creek? Mm, if it was cooked, yeah. Oh, okay, we'd have to cook it first. Yes. All right. Houston, don't get your finger pinched. Uh, go ahead and let them catfish go, though. Oh, we don't oh, want to keep those oh, catfish. Move, Bella. Ah! Here yeah. goes our little catfish. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he gone. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Emma! Bella! So, tomorrow... This... Tomorrow morning, 
We're getting up early, early in the morning, and we're going fishing with Jimmy Houston in a secret lake. <laughs> that is, is awesome. awesome. I don't know if I want to eat Oh, these. yeah. Those are giant. Oh, look at them. Down home, Buckhorn Creek, homegrown crawdads right there. This is the biggest one right here. Look at that. Look at those pinchers. This is probably a lot of meats in there. All right. Well, I hope our uh, crawdad trap doesn't fail us. It's supposed to trap crawdads. Hopefully it doesn't let them go. So we're just going to put them in the water. The goal here, keep them wet but we don't want them to be able to climb up and get out. So we're going to put that there. The lid secured shut and where'd that big rock go? I'm going to set a big rock on top of the cage. That way we don't have to worry about a varmint getting in here and rolling them around and, and trying to get them out. They're in the water. They can come up and get oxygen. Bella, you're not going to eat them, right? All right. We got some Kathy the catfish food. Hey Houston. What? <laughs> I think you're probably the only kid that's got a uh, Kubota Sidekick Aquarium. <laughs> I mean, you're not riding in luxury on your side by side unless it's got a fully equipped aquarium. A Kubota Sidekick fish pond. Yeah. What do you think? Weird. Best idea ever. Yeah. He wasn't amused by that. All right, let's go to the house and feed Kathy. You feed Kathy and everybody. <laughs> Don't see it? that. Oh, we about lost our menace. We gotta hurry up and get to the house. They're running out of water. While we're at the creek playing, mom's here at the house working. We got as I said, we've got a special, special guest coming over this evening, so she wants the yard looking good, and uh, she likes to mow. She works on her tan when she mows, even though it's shady in our yard. A lot of it's sunny. I didn't know Jimmy Houston was coming over. Well, he's what? coming over today to, to meet us and say hi and all that, and then we're going fishing with him tomorrow morning. So maybe I didn't but say that we, earlier. So we can go fishing with him down at the creek while he's here? I don't know, bud. We'll see. All right. Let Oops. me see, Kathy. We're just releasing the minnows. She won't eat them right now. Let's drop them in. Whoa, it just ate it. No. Yeah, yes. it's working on it. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. The worm's still a lot. Wait, hang on, hang on. So we're doing good. We got lots of minnows in there. The bluegill are doing good. Houston's crawdads. That's a big one, huh? Yeah. He's oh, got he the worm. A worm. That mean tardo. That's his worm. He's protecting it. Look, he's going to oh, he run them bluegill away from it. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. That's it? There's no notification bell, oh, no yeah. subscribe. Oh yeah. You you're gonna start taking lessons from your brother, so let's try that again. Okay. Make sure to click the thumbs up button if you like the video, hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. So guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Man. So we were over here the other day and the water was all the way up here on the concrete. But today it's almost dry. But there are a ton of little minnows in there. Little bluegill going everywhere. Houston, you think we can catch any of them and save them? Yeah. So there's a lot less water here today than there was just a couple days ago. I don't know if the water's even deep enough to get our traps in, but we're gonna try, Houston. And we're gonna set these traps out first, go to the feed store, then go get Jacoby. Right, Dad? That's the game plan. Hopefully catch something.
Whoo, that sun is bright already. Sure is. Okay, guys, this is going to be our second trap putting out of the day. I think I'm going to put it right here. Oh, yeah, that, that'll You're going to have to find a deeper spot. You're going to have to get it in a little deeper. So this is where we're going to put it. Oh, that's deep enough. All right, dude. Three minute traps in the water. How many fish you think we'll catch? I don't know. Look at the camera. Look up. I don't know. You I'm... think we'll catch anything? Maybe. Well, we got three minute traps out and a ton of minnows are in that water. There's a ton of little bluegill and I even saw one or two little bass yesterday. But if we don't get them saved out of there, the water's gonna drop and they're just gonna die. So you about ready to get go to the feed store now? Yeah. All right, let's take look, a shortcut. Look, are we gonna go that way? There's take, water. We can take a shortcut, right? No. Nah. Oh, you go that way and then you go that way and I'll go across and meet you at the house, okay? No. Hey guys, look what we found. Found, found some. A net. Oh. Man, thought you found a good net, but it's a little wore out. Look at all the trash. Isn't it just terrible? People just leave trash everywhere. Okay. Let's see if you caught any minutes. So guys, we are back at the ditch where all the minnows and things are. And this is the first trap we're gonna pull out. And I'm gonna pull it out. Kobe, you think there's gonna be anything in there? Yeah. Hang on, Houston, hang on. How many fish you think are gonna be in there, Kobe? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You know the drill. Give us a number. Uh, drum roll, please. Three. Three. How many you think are in there, Houston? Five. Five, all right. Let's see. Or maybe not any. Oh, got some. I heard them. Woo! -hoo! Houston, look at that, boy. How many fish you catch? I have no idea. A whole bunch, huh? Yeah. A whole bunch. Look at all of them. All right, let's put them in the water, okay? That's crazy. Now this is the best we've ever done with this trap. Yep. All right, let's see how many we caught. One, two, three, That's the best we've ever done. Look at all of them piled up. 19 little sunfish in one trap. Look at that little one. That little one where minnows are surrounding it. You're gonna have to get a little closer. Yeah. Woo! Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Don't drop all our fish. That trap is full, Kobe. Holy cow. Hey. Yeah. Kobe, look at me. You guessed five in that last trap. You were way wrong. 19, all right. 20, 21, We haven't even got to the big trap yet. So, hey guys, we are back and this is our big trap. Our biggest one that we brought today. And I'm gonna pull it up. Let's see what we get. Oh, Holy big, moly. One of the big cute ones. Yeah. Hey, this one's got some big, big sunfish in it. So we were at 34, right? Yeah. All right, let's count them up. We can. Ooh. 35. 36. Ooh, look at that big one. 36. 51. Holy crap. How, how is there that many in there? In that little pond? Literally. Look I'm at all those. They're just all bad. Man. Houston. What? I know where we need to go if we need catfish bait. We can get all the bait we need right here in this little oh, creek. Oh, geez. Look at this big one. Now that's what they call a big one. Man. I'm telling you what, 
I knew there were a lot of little sunfish and perch and bluegill and all that stuff in there. I didn't think we were going to catch that many, Houston. Same. We never catch that many in one trap. Well, <laughs> so we're up to 51. We went ahead and left the traps out because I can still see a lot of them swimming around in there. And if we don't catch them, they're done. I mean, they're, they're toast. We're not going to get any rain to get that creek flowing again. So they're within a couple days of certain death. So we're going to try to catch as many as we can. We'll take a break. It's getting hot in Oklahoma already at uh, 9.45 in the morning. So we're going to go in here to Grandma's and cool off for a few minutes. Hey, guys, we're back at the house now. Well, this ain't our house, but it's a house that we own. It's our nanny's. She's 85 years old, and we're going to wait for a few more minutes, and then we're going to go back down there. Boys. What do you got? Ice cream. No, that's not just ice cream. What is that, Jacoby? Well, it's root beer. A root beer float? Uh, for breakfast? No. Well, it's like yeah. not even 10 o'clock. <laughs> is it any good? Yeah. You like root beer float? Jacoby don't. I don't think he likes a root beer float. Right, Daddy. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes again. Our traps have set for another 30 minutes since we checked and pulled out 51 sunfish out of that one little hole of water. So we should have them about cleaned up, as many as we're going to get today. But we'll see how many we catch, and then probably going to take them home and throw them in our bass pond. Yeah, they're, we're saving them, we're rescuing them, but we're at least going to go put them in a couple acre pond where they have a chance to survive. And if they decide to get eaten by one of my monster bass, well, that's not my fault. Uh, all right, well, pull them traps out, pull them traps out. See what we caught. Those are some cool shades, where'd you get those? Jimmy Houston. Oh yeah? I'll put a link to that video. Jimmy, <laughs> oh, to you will? Video where we went fishing with Jimmy Houston. Okay, pull your traps out, that's what we're interested in. <sighs> Where's the string? Get that string, get all that trap and get it out of there, boy. Can't. See if you caught any this time. What'd you drop it for? Pull it out. Let's get them out of there. We got 51 so far. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. Next trap, boys. 374. Wait. 75. Oh, and one little one. 76. 76 little fish out of that one little hole of water so far. One more trap to go. I don't know how many's gonna be in it. Let's see. Don't get your shoes all wet. Get me in trouble. Not as many. Still a bunch though. 83, 84, 85, and 86. How can that many be in this little pond? How about that? You caught almost a hundred sunfish out of that one little hole of water back there. Can you believe that? That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's just that's just crazy. That just blew my mind. That's the most fish I've ever caught in one day. In a little pond. Puddle. I wouldn't even call it a pond. It's just a puddle. I bet there's a bunch more in there. Well, all of our beautiful little sunfish we saved. We got. 86 of them. Yeah, look at that. Let it get us a scoop. Look at this. Tons of them. All right, don't harass them. Come on. All right, boys. We got to hurry up and get them to the house so they survive. What's up, Gemma? You going to ride this time? Made it over to the bass pond. It's, it's looking a little dingy and dirty right now, but that's because it's been so hot. All the all the moss growing along the bank, the back side of the pond is covered in moss. But that's okay. It's We're winding down summer. We're getting close. September's not that far away. It'll start cooling off for us here in Oklahoma. But we made it with all the little fish. 
I didn't have an aerator pump on them. Probably should have. So let's see if they all survived. Oh yeah. Them little bluegill and green sunfish and every other kind of sunfish you can imagine. All survive. They're survivors. These guys have been living in a ditch with almost no water in 105 degree heat. So we didn't lose. Oh, they're splashing. They're one out of there. We didn't lose a single fish, boys. Look at that. Every one of them survived. So we're going to turn them loose in the pond. Hey, and if they survive, they're survivors. If they get eaten by a bass, well, we gave them a chance to live, didn't we? Yep. Bella, you going to eat any of them? Hmm? You're not going to eat any of them, are you? release all these little babies. I want to put them in. We'll get down here and put them in the water. I'm just going to grab them a handful at a time and put them in the pond. Just gently toss them in. Get them. And there is our last one. That is our last one. That's Put him back. Well, there you have it. 86 fish released into the pond. That's 86 little fish that we saved their lives until they may or may not get eaten by a bass in our bass pond. That's not the point. We're giving those 86 fish the opportunity to, li opportunity to live. And we rescued them from that puddle, basically. I hope there's some crawdads in here too. Yeah, you think? I bet there isn't going to be any. What'd we catch? What'd we catch? Woo! We got a few. Look at there, Houston. We got a few bluegill. Let's Don't see. Let's just dump them in the bucket and see how many we caught, okay? Okay. Two, three, four, five. We got 11. Not bad. Got 11 bluegill in the first trap. That water is so clear right now. Nothing, Nothing in that one, buddy. Huh? Zero. In the world did we catch zero? Got two more. And that's why I've never been a fan of those little funnel traps. Sometimes they work, sometimes they just don't catch anything. But that first trap we had 11. Can you believe that? Yeah. Look what I caught, guys. <laughs> What the heck is that? Is that a beaver? Yes! Is it alive? No, I don't think it's alive. Hang on, touch it with your foot. That's not a beaver, oh, Houston. What is it? It's an otter. Look at this. That's not a beaver tail. That's an otter for sure. It's a dead otter, Houston. No way. Clean the moss off of it. Oh, mm. kind of stinks. Mm. Oh, something killed it. Did you see this this morning? No, I didn't see it this morning. It wouldn't have still been there. Okay, so that's crazy. But when I was over there and I saw that black thing, it looks like a log at first. Did, did you see it? No, I didn't see it until the dogs were over there sniffing of it. Well, Ooh. I saw it. It looked like a log when I saw it. It smells funky. So I, got I wonder what killed it. <laughs> Look at those webbed feet. Ooh. Hold your nose. Yeah, he stinks. Mm. Oh my God, I'm freaking. That is pretty crazy right there. So last year, yeah, last year late summer, I started noticing that we were losing a lot of fish in the creek. And uh, we put out trail cameras in the creek. If, you, if you've been a, a subscriber of the channel for that long, you know, we got trail camera pictures of, I think, three otters 
in the creek but I never actually saw them. I, I, we had trail camera pictures of them, but I never actually saw them. I have no idea what killed this otter or why I didn't see it this morning. It must've just floated down the creek from somewhere because I walked right through here this morning. And uh, I mean, I had Bear and Bella with me. If that otter was there then, they would have noticed it, but it's crazy. What do you think? That's crazy. My mind is literally blown right now. When I was over there and when I saw it, it looked like just a big log until I was like, oh my God, it's a beaver. Well, what do you think killed it? Really, I don't know. I don't know. There's no, there's really nothing that comes down to the creek and kills well, stuff. No, I mean nothing. There's no like bite marks on it or anything. Um, I, you know, I don't see any bullet holes or anything. That, and, and we're, on, all, you know, obviously way out in the middle of nowhere. I, I don't know. Okay, honestly, I don't know what happened, but I know it probably they there was probably two, and one of them got in a fight with it, and it probably killed him. You think so? Is what I'm guessing. That's possible. I wouldn't think they would be already out guys honestly i wouldn't think they would be already out oh they're out all the time they're always out eating fish so hopefully i mean we have no idea what killed that but hopefully there's not several more here because we're not too far from the from the bass pond and that's the last thing that we want in our bass pond and, and that right there is probably why we haven't been catching as many big bluegill and as many bass in the creek and probably even the big crawdads i'm sure i'm sure otters probably eat a lot of crawdads hey could you stop while I'm talking? Yeah. I'm sure otters probably eat a ton of big crawdads. So that could be the problem. But I, I think the water temperatures in fall, being fall, the fish just aren't as active. But we've got one more minnow trap out here that Houston needs to check. Where is it? Uh, see that stick in the water over there? Yeah. It's right there. Did you catch anything this time? Any otters? No. No otters? Any crawdads? Come on, big money crawdad. Nothing. Nothing. So we're going to get all of our traps baited up and we're going to put them all in the same area. Hey, somebody else showed up. What you doing? Nothing. Nothing. You going to come help? Sure. Showed up on the electric bike. Mm -hmm. A lot better than pedal power, huh? Yeah, way better. So right now we are baiting these traps. You just got here. Where are you going? Uh, to make y'all orange chicken. I thought you were gonna help us throw the traps out. Well, I was, but then I realized I remembered yeah, that I have food in the oven. Well, you guys can go see the baby. Well, we appreciate it. I know what you're doing though. Hey, Dusty look. just drove by. We're twinning. Uh huh. Dusty just drove by, and Brooks is here. Mom's watching Brooks, so you saw the baby show up, and you said, "Shoo." getting out of here yeah and i have three minutes left on my oven so <laughs> all right oh, God. <laughs> Whoop. I have my hand up there. that's what i said let me get down here first so i can video y'all falling down Instead of throwing it out around the end of the tree, and we're doing since we're doing a side by side comparison of four traps, this area is all consistent, so it seems like it would be a good fair spot to do four traps side by side. You don't have to throw it out far, Houston. Let's just get it off in that deep water right there. Don't forget to hold the rope. All right, so put that one in. Woo! Hey, you don't listen very well. I said just pull it right over here close to these rocks. I'll say that one might float away if we're not careful. I have to get it sunk down by the rock. Okay, we got it. All right, so we got all of them set up. Now we'll come back in just a little bit, maybe, and we're not swim, maybe. So, what's your prediction? Which one do you think is going to do the best? Um, honestly, I think both of our new ones, the new light colored trap, like that one, 
and the one that has the six holes around it. What do you think's the best? I think the uh, big orange one and the new six-sided one is going to work. I think the, 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 the expandable one with all the six holes around it will have the most. Yeah. I think the one with the orange ends on it will have the biggest. So we're gonna let these traps soak for probably, I don't know, maybe an hour or two, and we'll come back and check today. But the creek is looking phenomenal right now. It's just gorgeous. There's no algae and moss buildup. But I do notice that we're not getting near as good a flow over the dam right now as what we were. And a lot of water is getting through the rocks. I had it pretty well stopped up to where almost all the water was going over and it was flowing really well all the way across. But uh, yeah, so we got some leaks to fix. It's just not easy to find them. That's the hard part. Well, look who decided to join us. Mm -hmm. Did you get your baby fix in? Yes. Your uh, orange chicken was delicious too, by the way. Thank you. I mean, you did a great job taking it out of the box and putting it in the oven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And putting sauce on it. She had to put sauce on it. Oh, that's right. Huh? Hey, huh. my eyes are burning from all that dust, boy. <laughs> oh, no. All right, first trap is the little round black one. Nothing. You caught nothing. Looks like a blueberry in there. <laughs> All right, trap number two. Wow. It's the big with the orange ends on it, the biggest trap we've got. Nothing? Nothing. nothing. Yeah. Hey, heck? what in the world? What kind of ultimate showdown trapping video is this? Oh, I, yeah. got it. I see some catfish. splashing. Catfish. Oh, catfish. oh, I love catfish. <laughs> I well, we got catfish. we got two little bullhead catfish. Those are some fat catfish. Can we eat them? No. We're not eating those. Can we keep them? We're not keeping them. We gotta bring Kathy back to hey, life. We need to keep them for flathead bait because I've heard they make really good flathead catfish bait. But we're not keeping them today. How did you open this last time? I just ripped the net open in the zipper. It was messed up, so I just ripped the net. There you go. So uh, I bought these traps on Amazon. They, we used one last year that had four holes, and they they catch a ton of these little bullhead yeah, catfish. Yeah. Let me get the other one. This thing, this thing's bite. Yeah, they'll yeah. bite you a little bit. They don't hurt that bad. Yeah. Not too bad I'm, if you're, I'm unless you're just one. a wuss, you I'm know. Getting that one. I'm getting that one. I want to pick up that one. Grab it then. That one is fat. Flip it over. You got it upside down. Stop it on his head. So these little bullhead catfish I've heard make really good flathead bait. And this yeah. style of trap is usually about the only kind that ever catches these things. But there's a ton of those little bitty things in this creek. Here we go. Like they, it. Like they, think they can get under like a rock or something right there. Well, there's just something about the way these holes are shaped. Or yeah, okay. Obviously they're a lot bigger hole than what most of those traps are. But those little catfish love this thing. So maybe not on the ultimate minnow trap showdown. I figured we would catch a lot of bluegill right here in this area. I know there's a ton in there. Our traps have set for probably an hour and a half or so. Um, now I know there's a, about a hundred little bluegill in this little small hole of water over here. So we could, we could uh, put the traps back out over here if we wanted to just to see the difference. But uh, for some reason, not catching any bluegill over here. None. I say we move these traps somewhere into shallower water where we know there's some more bluegill. Yeah. All right. Look over there. 
No, let's go. Let's go up on the other side of the dam where the creek's shallow. There you go. Perfect. Now let's go swimming. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? So now we've got all four traps scattered out over here in a little shallower water. Um, we can see a ton of bluegill in here, small minnows and things. So we'll let these sit here for an hour or two and just see what we catch. You never know. But uh, so far, the ultimate minnow trap showdown has caught us two bullhead catfish. Kind of not great. Our traps have been setting for probably about two hours in the second spot and we're hoping hoping for a little bit better results than the first time um, I was not impressed that maybe we should go back to dog food bread usually does the trick on the bluegill huh Houston yeah all right one at a time let's see me yep pull it in pull that first one in Emily I think I saw something at least one right there. Yeah! Got two bluegills. Hold it up here. There's your mongoose. Like well, two. Two little bluegill. That's it. Two little bluegill. No crawdads. No big bluegill. That one was supposed to be the one that catches the big ones. And I know I saw a ton of big bluegill out there. Yeah. Alright, Nick. I already see fish swimming around in that one. I'm telling you, these little traps work the best. I love them. Oh, oh wow. Uh, we got a giant bluegill. I told you there were some big ones in there. Holy crap. Oh, my lordy. Dad, we got to keep that thing. Look at that bluegill. Let's that bluegill. That no, we're not cleaning that. That bluegill needs to go to the pond. That's where it needs to go. Yes. That is a kegger, man. He's huge. Hey, go get that bucket out of the back of the buggy. That is perfect. Oh no, Belda, don't eat it. No, go back in that went right in her back. <laughs> There's even another pretty good size one in there. As I was saying before I dropped it, that is perfect size. That's big enough that it won't get um, eaten by the bass. That one's not a bluegill. No, it's a that green one's sunfish. probably a green sunfish, looks like. And we don't want those in the pond. Nope. But we do want this guy. We'll take him over there for sure. Houston, that's easily the biggest bluegill we've ever trapped out of the creek right there. Yeah, for sure. Pull yours in, Houston. All right, trap number three. Pull it in, Houston, the black one. The little cheap Walmart trap that we use all the time. No, well, there's fish swimming around it. Anything in it? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. All right. I don't see anything in the silver G's trap either. 
Nothing. That is crazy. I think we found out which. Nothing. Which, which, <laughs> we know. We know for sure now that these little umbrella traps are by far the best at catching fish. Now they do fall apart pretty easy. Hey, Houston. Yeah. Then we we got one in that we got two in the mail a couple days ago, and what happened to one of them? One already broke that day. It broke. We got it out of the we got it out of the box. It was broken, but the other one is working fine. It's catching fish. Hey. Why don't we put those over there where we said um, there might be some crawfish overnight? We'll leave them, leave them for the crawdads, okay? You want those hey, guys? how many, how many fish did that little trap catch? One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus the big one and, and that one green back. sunfish you caught. Yeah. Ooh. So this one had eight. Eight. Of course, it does have six openings. <laughs> There's just something about these little umbrella traps, though, that man, they just catch a lot of fish. I mean, I know Bear's really interested in this, aren't you, buddy? It's a blue eel. No! No, that's a green crabfish. That was a okay, green crabfish. Did you run over him on the four-wheeler? No. I was, like, right there, and he was, like, in the middle of the road. Stay back, Houston. It's a rattlesnake. No, we're not going to kill it. Stay back, Bella. Hey, you're not going anywhere. That's a small one. That's not a small one. Well, the rattle. That's a small one. That's a second. That's the second rattlesnake we've ever seen. Boy, he's blending in with those leaves, isn't he? Uh, if he wouldn't have been on the road, I wouldn't have seen him. You know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have ran over him if I could have killed him. Get him go. Mm. Oh, a little creepy, isn't it? Nope. I'm just, rattlesnakes kind of make me uh, it'll be a little. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> I'm not a fan of rattlesnakes. I wouldn't take them out by hand. So we kept them. all the bluegill out of the traps. And that one is just huge. That's a perfect breeder size bluegill that we want to spawn in the pond for sure. Hopefully, that's a girl. Hold it up one more time, Nick. Look at all those little guys. Yeah, there's hundreds in the pond right now, isn't there? Look at them. I don't know if they'll show up on video or not. They're ready for the fish feeder to go off. They are waiting for that feeder to go off. Yeah, that's a good one, man. That'd be even a big one to catch. Yeah, you could eat that one for sure. He's plenty big enough. Yeah, lay him up. Be like a bass. Not gonna be as fat as a bass, but he kind of big. He gone. Now we'll just toss the rest of them just out. Pour the rest of them in there. They'll be fine. Whoa. Dude. There are thousands of little bluegill right here. Awesome. Cool beans. Yeah. All those will grow up to be big in. Look at that spider. It's eating a dragonfly. It's sucking its blood up. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Huh. A spider caught a dragonfly. I better know how. It went. Oh, you think he did like Spider Man? I said. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Stop, Emma. <laughs> it's not funny. I thought it was. No. You know what? Just let it. We're do it. we're just waiting on you. Just let Emma do it then. You're just like a typical little brother. Yeah. Typical little brother with a typical older sister that's got to aggravate. Yep. I'm the cool one though. Oh, you're the cool one. So all right. So you wrap this video up for us. Okay. Then. 
So guys, make sure to click the like button, I've subscribe button, that. and the notification bell. And I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. All right, fellas. So if we're going to do a micro fishing challenge, you got your micro fishing poles, and Check. we got to find a micro fishing lure, okay? So okay. I think, let's see, what kind of lures do y'all want to start off with? You got lots to choose from over here. Um, I'm kind of, I was kind of thinking of a rooster tail, but instead of that, we got these. So we could start off with a rooster tail, or we got some really small crankbaits here. Uh, we've got some little teeny tiny jigs that you could use. I'm having a jig. You want a yeah. jig? Yeah. Kobe wants a jig. I don't know why he wants a jig. Isn't that what you were fishing with the other day when you out fish Houston? Yeah. It was a little different color jig, wasn't it? All right, so Jacoby decided he wanted to start out with a little white jig, little teeny tiny jig, and Houston went with a good old trusty, oh, lighting's terrible, a good old trusty uh, rooster tail. So, all right, boys, the competition now, I don't think is to see who can catch the biggest fish. I think it's the smallest fish, right? Yeah. All right, let's see it. I'll give you guys a head start and just video y'all before I come show you how it's done. Be in the shade down at the creek sure feels good. Bella, get out of the water. I'd get away from that rope swing if I was you, Houston. You're going to end up with a hook and a rope swing right off the bat. What is it? A baby bass. Oh, oh. There's you saw him and he swam There's right two at it. Of them. There's two of them right there. Jacoby will come over here and show you how it's done, won't you, buddy? Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Kobe, bass. Kobe got That's one, bass. Kobe's got bass. one, that ain't a bass, yes it is, it's a oh. smallmouth bass, that's far enough Kobe, don't reel him up all the way, hey, I don't know if that quite counts as micro, but he's a little bitty guy, yeah, Bella, is that like the perfect snack size for you, hey, yeah, where'd your fish go, it fell. we didn't even get a picture with it or anything, all right, Kobe's up one to nothing over Houston. We know who the bass fisherman is in the bunch. It's me, in case y'all were wondering. I'm the, I'm the bass you fisherman. Go get your pole? Hey, what'd you just say? I think it's Jimmy Houston. What? No, no. This is my channel, not Jimmy Houston's channel. What are you talking about, Willis? There he is. There's that little bass right there. I don't know if he shows up on camera or not, but I can see him. Yeah. You ought to be able to get him, Houston. There you go. That's good. Real. Keep it up on top and real. Gotta get their attention. It's cold. It ain't cold at all. Yes, it is. This is just the right temperature. Tonight. Yeah, it kinda is, Kobe. No, it's kinda not. To me, it is. Hey. What do you got, buddy? Ah, hey, look at there. It's big. I thought we were doing the tiniest. What are you doing Here. catching big bluegill? I'm not meaning to, Dad. Oh, all right. Would you calm down? No. I feel like I'm pretty calm. Not you fish that was curious she wants to know what you got <clears throat> got oh, it got it let's see it hold that fish up hold up that monster that thing is pretty maybe someday it'll be a creek monster huh yeah you gonna let it go oh look at that part right there mm-hmm oh you're throwing rocks hold on the it. See it. just let it go guys he came right at you, Dada. I got another one, guys. Two for one. Two for oh, yeah. one? What do you mean two for one? Two and Kobe's one. Oh, it's two to one. I got you. Bella, you better get back. You don't need those hooks in you. Kobe? Yeah? You better pick up the pace. You're going to get out fished. You want some pliers? Oh, yeah. Didn't see those. I think those are weird pliers. Where'd you find them at? Uh. Well, it's two to one. Houston's got two bluegill. Now Houston threw over on the bank, it looks like. 
Jacoby's got one smallmouth bass. I think the smallmouth should count for more than them little bluegill, though. I don't know. What do you think, Kobe? Yeah. Now Kobe threw over on the bank. Dang, you boys. Both of you threw plumb over on the bank. Look at all this creek we got to fish. And both of y'all's over there tree fishing. Houston gave me his pole. Hey. <laughs> He's going to go get it. Well, it makes it fair at least. Where are these, like, holes from? Oh, beavers, snakes, swamp swilligans. All kinds of different stuff. 48-pound catfish. Oh. Nah, I'm just making that part up. <laughs> Bella came to help you. I thought y'all were fishing, not swimming. What's the deal? Houston? Hang on. Bella's tangled up in the line now. Oh, Houston got a big green sunfish. Oh, that is fat. Hey. That is That fish had fat. to have been hiding under your feet because you just almost caught him right in front of you. You know that? Yeah. That's a pretty good sized green sunfish, buddy. Let's eat it, bro. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. I'm not even joking. Let's eat it. I know you're not joking. Everybody everybody watching this video knows you're not joking. Let's just eat it. Oh, look at that monster. thought this was a micro. You keep trying to catch big fish. Well, this is for you, Jimmy Houston. I'll just swim right over it. Kobe. Yeah? What's up, man? You're falling behind. It's three to one now. And I just kissed the fish. Well, I'm already at three. Hey, so we never told them what the competition was. So what are we, what's the competition? How do we know who wins? Okay. First, first one, one to 50 five. or what? 50. First, first one to five wins a dollar. A dollar? And I guess I'm the one that's going to have to pay that dollar? Yes. Oh. Come on, Kobe. I'm rooting for you, buddy. Catch a big old bass. I want to see you bend that little rod over sideways. All right, I saw a big green sunfish right up there. See if you can get him to bite. Come on, Kobe, you're up, man. You're due. Whoa, tree limb. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, there was two right there. You just barely missed it in Houston. I mean, and Jacoby's fishing up in the trees. What are you doing way up there again? Got it. You're good at getting in the trees, Kobe. Kobe's trying to give you every chance he can to win, Houston. He <laughs> outfished you so bad the other day, I think he feels sorry for you today. Oh! I knew it! I watched that. You caught him right in front of you. He was chasing it, and you watched him. That's a good job, Houston. I watched you. Now that one counts as a dollar. You need pliers? I nope. already got four fish. What? That's four? You ain't got to five yet. Boy, my name is Harrison, and I'm going to win this challenge. Why don't you just let Harrison go? <laughs> Harrison. Isn't that what That's you said? Happening. No, I said my name is Houston. Oh, Houston. Oh, Kobe, oh, Kobe got one? That's two. Uh oh, what do you got? Keep reeling, boy. Don't let it go slack. What do you got? A little bitty sunfish. Looky there. Kobe's got two. It's and four to two four. now. And I have four. Here, let me hold that. You can take his hook out. Houston's not going to waste any time. He's going to take advantage of Kobe trying to get that hook out of his mouth. Oh, I got one! Oh, what do you got? It's pulling drag. Uh-oh, Kobe. That thing is huge! Look at that. That's the biggest one of the day, Houston. I got a dollar in my pocket. Hey, I just don't think you understand micro fishing challenge. All right, fellas. Looks like Houston made it to five first. Although, he didn't quite understand micro fish. He's supposed to be catching little ones, and Houston's trying to catch big ones. But I guess first one to five wins, and Houston won. You going to let him go? This right here. Phew. All right, boys. I'm sweating. I want to go get my fishing pole and fish, too. No, really? Oh. Don't let her eat it. 
All right, so I'll let the boys have their little competition. This is a little, uh, it's a H2O Express Tiny, a four foot, six inch ultralight with a little spinning reel on it. And while I said they were, they were micro fishing, they would not be able to cast a jig this small. I think this is a, a 32nd of an ounce. I don't know, tiny, tiny, tiny little jig. We'll see what we can catch on that guy. I lost your hat. Yeah. How? Well, I went underwater. There's something floating over there in the creek. Y'all see that? Yeah. I wonder what that is. It's me. There is. Oh, that's chilly. There's something over here in the creek that's dead. Looks like a dead animal. Watch out, move. I want to see what it is. Oh, Kobe. That looks like a bobcat or something. Uh, it looks like a dead raccoon to me. A dead raccoon in our swimming hole, that's nasty. Yeah. I wonder what happened to it. Yeah, that's a good raccoon. <clears throat> Why you can do that? Ooh, that does not look like a raccoon. Mm. That is not yeah, I think it's a raccoon. It's pretty rotten and nasty. Let's get it out of here. Woo! Get out of that tree! Look at that first cast over there, Bella. First cast over there. Little green sunfish. Drop my pole in the water. Nice size to eat. Oh, got another one. Another green sunfish. I could do this all day, guys. So there's our micro fishing challenge for the day. Um, you know, as much as I absolutely love fishing, fishing is just one of those things for me. It takes me back to my childhood. It takes me back to when my dad was around and that was one of his passions. But I absolutely love, don't get me wrong, I love catching a big old bass. And I have a ton of fun going down to the Gulf of Mexico and catching red snapper or red fish or trigger fish, whatever it is in the salt water there's something magical down there but i'm telling you what there's something special that i just can't explain about doing this with two little boys in this creek and i just want to challenge you out there watching whether you're 10 years old or 90 years old grab a fishing pole and go fishing take somebody else with you that doesn't have all the opportunities that you do you may not live on a creek like this. You may not have a, you know, a place like this to go. Go find a spot. But I guarantee you there's somebody around that you know that would love to go fishing with you, that would really benefit from it. Um, so anyways, that was our uh, micro fishing challenge of the day. Kobe? Yeah. You let me down, buddy. I just thought you were going to win. I just knew Kobe was going to win. But somebody decided to pull one out of their hat and catch a few fish today. I won.
So guys, um, if you haven't already, go subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like the video. Yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. My money's going on the cane pole. I just what? have a feeling. And I put Ow. a teeny tiny little jig on Keaton's rod here. It's like maybe a 164th ounce jig. The problem is, is Houston's little micro rod wouldn't be able to cast it. So that tiny little thing, Keaton ought to be able to just reach out there and pluck those little bluegill and green sunfish and stuff out of the water. Yeah, that's a really pretty big, big old bluegill, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that pretty thing. That's not what we're going to plan on keeping, necessarily. We'll turn that guy back loose. We want to. We want you to catch some little bitty ones that, like, your bass could probably eat. Yeah. If we're going to put them in your pool pond. Oh, look at there. <laughs> Keaton got him one. He didn't even say a word, did he, Houston? Keaton got his first fish on the on the cane pole rod. Let me see him. Hold him up here. You can almost see through him out here, buddy. That's pretty cool. Pretty one. Yep, that's a pretty bluegill. Get back, Bella. Get back, Bella. Get back, Bella. Haha, uh -huh, you missed him. I got bass. I got small bass. Ooh, I know what you're doing with that one. Yep, me too. I got a feeling. Hold that trophy up here when you get him out. When you get him off there, and you can lip him. These will bend that pole hard, won't it, Dad? I don't know about that. Well, not super hard, but I know what I'm doing with this little guy. What, you think he needs to go in your pool pond? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. So my big bass can have a friend. I hope your bluegill doesn't eat it. <laughs> well, its mouth is only the size of, of its mouth. Oh no, I'm making a joke because that bluegill's giant compared to that bass. Yeah. All right, put him in the bucket. That's cool, got your baby bass. Micro bass on a micro rod, huh? Oh, Keaton got him one. Look oh, at the size a, of that thing. Holy cow, that's a sunfish. Get over here. Look at that. Yeah. Big old green sunfish right there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, big old green sunfish. Man, you got some big these were supposed to be micro fish. I was hoping you could catch some little bitty sunfish and stuff, but y'all are, oh, that one got away. And so did the rod. Yeah, y'all are catching some big ones. Yeah. This is the opposite of what we need to catch. Whip it out there. Huh. Hey, if you have to, hey, you can <laughs> overhand it out there. That way you can get the full extension on it. There you go. That worked pretty good. You were sight fishing that last one. I watched you. You watched him come up and take it too, didn't you? Yeah. This is easier than the cane pole.
Well, this area of the creek is not producing very many fish right now. I think it's two to two. Houston's caught that one little bass and one bluegill, and Keaton's got a couple of green sunfish. Uh oh, Houston's got one right now. Right when I said it wasn't producing anything. Man. Oh, that is giant. I mean, I don't know about giant, but. That's pretty big. Oh, a fin. Fin. There we go. Just let him go. Let him go easy. That was not easy to him. Keaton, it's getting deep out there, buddy. Keaton fighting one. He's got to keep him out of the trees. That big 10 foot long rod gets up in the trees easy, doesn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> now you got a mess. He doesn't know whether to focus on the tree or the fish or the rod or the dog. Hang on. I'll help you. We've only got like eight pound line here. We'll get it out of the tree in just a minute. Look at that little guy. Can we put that one in the pond? Nah, that's a green sunfish too. You don't want them in there. Are they mean eaters? Mm-hmm. Let him go. All right. Well. Hold that. I'll pull the limb down. Just Figure take out. it all on that one little branch. <laughs> Get it out of there, Keaton. Yeah. Oh, got one. It's a big one. Yeah, tangled again. Tangled again. You got to stay away from the trees with that one, buddy. Look at that giant. Oh. You couldn't catch those green sunfish like that when we were uh, doing the catch, clean, and cook. No. What the heck, bro? <laughs> hey, Bella just wants one little bite. That's all she wants. Okay, Bella. Okay. I said, like I said a while ago, I think Houston needs one more hand. Yes, I do. You just work it out. There you go. That is a giant. Look at that guy. Isn't he pretty though? Yeah, look at the blue. Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh! Got another one? We may not have to switch spots after all. Can barely get one of you situated, then the next one's got a fish. Those bluegills are so pretty in this creek, aren't they? Yeah. Look at the colors on that thing. Hold him up here. Look at that. That is one pretty fish, man. Let's let him go. Pretty much even dead set. The micro fishing rod and the cane pole are pretty much neck and neck. But uh, I have noticed that Keaton with his 10 foot rod and and uh, 10 about 10 feet of line and Houston with his two foot pole with a reel on it actually cast about the same distance Yeah. because yeah. that little bitty light jig that Houston's got on there is it's hard to cast it won't go very far with that the little pole is made for ice fishing but uh, it's just something different something kind of different and challenging for the creek huh mm -hmm. I'm getting bites right here what do you got? A sunfish? Yep. Another green sunfish. There's that just black. literally that hundreds black of green sunfish in this creek right now. Look at the black Oh, there's black spots on it. Yep. Keaton, look. Black spots on it. Got one. You got another one? Dang. Every time That's... somebody gets ahead, another one catches a fish. Hey, let's, let's put that one in the bucket. Yeah, that He's a nice little, nice little bluegill. Obviously, he's probably too big for any of Houston's bass to eat, but he's not a giant, and we just don't want to put too many big fish in his pool pond because mm -hmm. then they'll end up getting nasty in there. Hey! Ooh. Little bass got him a friend now. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's way bigger than anything you caught when we were trying to do a catch, clean, and cook. definitely looks like some kind of hybrid to me got those yellow tips on its fins but it's got that big blue gill on its side big blue fin on its gill i mean sure. well they don't waste any time leaving do they no getting bit by horse flies and helping two little boys catch a fish this big that's that's where my heart's at oh oh you got a catfish is it a catfish or a sucker get it up here just walk it back you'll break your line just walk it back walk it back and i just said you're out here catching three inch long fish and you just caught a channel cat big as your rod buddy <laughs> look at that you caught a channel cat on a micro rod with a micro jig but a jig that's a jig not no like hook just a hook that's a jig well pick him up let's see him how about that buddy that's a big catfish <laughs> if we were doing a catch clean and cook i know where he would be going in our stomach well what are you gonna do with him turn him loose catch yeah. him another day yeah definitely not put him in our pond because He'll eat just about everything. Well, he probably. may eat a lot of your fish. Oh, but that channel cat would uh, increase the, uh, the 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 poop load a lot in your little pool pond. And we haven't got figured out. We're trying to keep everything in balance right now. So watch out, Bella. Get back. Get back, Bella. He has barely got him hooked in the top of the mouth right there. A catfish, Keaton. Can you do better than that? Watch out. You're going to get Earl hooked. That's crazy. A catfish the size of the oh, reel, literally. Listen to him talking. You hear him? Just let me go. <laughs> that means like there's a cave or something down there probably. No, not necessarily. He's just hanging out down there in that deeper water. I could probably put him on a hook. Got him. Look at that little guy. Ooh -wee. That was not here just a second ago. Oh, I bet it was. Uh, oh. What is it, Gemma? That's a big snake skin. Shed. Look at the scale part. Scale. Oh my gosh. Look, that is a big snake. Imagine catch. I bet you that was either a rattlesnake or a copperhead, maybe. Or just a water snake, since yeah. it was down here by the creek. Yeah. That's cool. you got this time oh my goodness it's a micro bass it's just like a bass only smaller yeah it's barely hooked barely hooked huh Bella. No. it's bite size it's like a sardine Let's try not to drop this one no Bella look at there you gonna put him in the bucket yeah all right don't drop him
Well, creek fishing turned out pretty darn well. It was really slow at first, but uh, it, I don't know who the definitive winner is. Houston? I think I won. So uh, Houston definitely caught the biggest fish and he caught the most bass. He brought back a few, few, few fish to put, to add to his uh, pool pond. But uh, I think Keaton did pretty darn good considering he didn't even have a reel on his pole. So Houston, what all did you bring back? Two perch and two baby bass. Two bluegill? And two little bass. Two little bass. Your water is looking Fantastic. pristine right now. Look at that little guy. Ain't he cute? He's an angry little fella. Okay. One more bluegill left. Just look at that giant bluegill in there. The biggest one in there. Just the king. Look at that little guy. Alrighty, let's let him go. We'll find you a good place to hide. Oh my gosh. As far as the micro fishing, cane pole fishing, I think it was just about a tie. Yeah. Until this guy came in with the big Blue channel deal. cat. Yeah. No, the big and channel all cat. Them. Yeah. And all the small stuff but hey, it was fun either way, right? Yeah, yeah. And That's we got fun. we got fish for the pool pond. Yeah. Okay. That ought to work, Bella. He's not tiny, but he's not big enough to eat, probably. Nope. Jack is right here. You got him. Oh. Got him. I Tim Pinchers. Is he big enough? Oh, yeah, we'll make it work. He's big enough. Put him in the bucket. Okay. Let's go see if we got any. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there sure is. Those are good sizes. They're everywhere. Yep, they come out at night for sure. Well, let's pick your trap up and see if you got any crawdads in it. Oh, oh I got a catfish. Oh, yeah. Got Three. Little, Three little catfish. Little catfish, huh? Yep. Okay. Well, we still got bait. We still got bait, so we're going to leave that out. There's no crawdads in it yet. But there's a bunch in the water, isn't there? crawdads in that one yet? Nope. All just fish right now, huh? A little catfish, some bluegill. Bluegill. Okay. Some big bluegill. Yeah. <coughs> all right, we'll leave them out all night and see. I got two more to check. What are you after? Oh, you dropped my flashlight in the water. Twice. Big one right there. Oh, yeah, I see him. You see him because of the moths right now. 
Hey, there he is. I bet you he's out looking for the same thing we are. This what? One, yeah. Cool. That one. Big enough? Yeah. Pick that one up and see. Pick it all the way up. Nothing. Here, we're gonna move it. Over there? Yeah. Why are you gonna leave him in there? He's gonna get out. He ain't that big, he ain't huge or anything, so. All right, we're gonna move this one into this nasty mucky water here. Doesn't look like it's that dirty, but when you step off in it, you sink up in the leaves. Oh, there went a big crawdad. I saw him go across the water. Swimming, bring your bright, bright flashlight over here. Oh, huge snake skin right here. Yep. Yeah. There's a big crawdad somewhere. I see lots of tadpoles. I don't know where he went, but he's in here somewhere. Look at these tadpoles. There's a little crawdad. Oh, look at this frog. There's legs. There's a ton of little bitty guys like that. Oh, look at that. There's just, they're everywhere. Oh, See him? Yeah. yeah. Here, hold the light. Oh, got yes, him. Yes, let's go. Got him. Got, got him. him. Got Try him. not to get pinched. That's an eater for sure. Yeah. I don't have a bucket though, so here, put him in your pocket. No! What? He will get out. I mean, you got him? Yep. Got him. Let me see. Big guy. Try to move it with the net. Yep, Houston got a big one. I got two more here. Kobe, your net's trying to get away from me. I got you. Okay, I'm going to. Put these in a bucket. It's a big guy, Dad. Sure is. Hey, I bet you if we can get some, like, four or five overnight, I bet we can have ourselves a boil. It's going to take more than four or five. Yeah, true. This is some nice size ones, though. Yeah, those are pretty big for our creek, aren't they? Mm-hmm. We got one more trap we can go down here and check, though. Yeah. See if we can find any more snakes. Mm -hmm. You going with us, Cobra? Or you staying up here? Uh, going with. There's some minnows. Yep. Tiny little minnow, like some little. Mm, some little yeah. Just tuck it back up by the bank. All right. It's only been dark for like an hour, so crawdads are just now really coming out to eat, probably. Yeah. So we'll come back and check in the morning. Yep. Well, just in the time since we checked our trap, one of our little snake friends decided to go in. He's got a fish in his mouth, Houston. He does? Yeah. Dang. He caught a bluegill in our trap. Oh, yeah. Now he's trying to find his way out. But you can see, that's why I leave... Uh, I leave those sticking out of the water just a little bit like that so we don't kill all the snakes. He went in there, caught a fish, you know, and he's got to hold his breath if that was underwater completely. So now he can at least uh, work to find his way out.
Well, it's time to boil up some crawfish. And when I said we were, <laughs> we're not Cajuns, we're not doing this like a big Cajun boil, we're doing a micro crawfish boil at the creek. So let me show you the setup. Let me show you what I mean by micro. So these are by no means super large crawfish, but we've got a couple dozen crawdads and uh, they're nice and fresh. The good thing about having this nice clean creek is they're always purged. They're not sitting in mud. So we're just going to be boiling them in a small, like a stock pot, steamer pot. I need to add a little bit more water on my little butane burner. I went ahead and bought some shrimp at the grocery store. I tried to get like popcorn shrimp. They didn't have any. That was my only option. So that's not micro, but we're using uh, little smoky, so micro sausages, micro potatoes, and some little small corn on the cob. I got some Zatarans, um, Cajun crab boil here, so we're gonna get the water boiling and uh, do our little crawfish boil right here on the buggy. Creek side, well, middle of the creek. I'm gonna go ahead and put my potatoes in, because they're gonna take the longest to cook, even though they're tiny potatoes. Still gonna take a little while. And then in a few minutes, we'll add our corn on the cob and our little smokies. But we're gonna let those cook for a minute. Potatoes have been boiling for about 15 minutes. I got our little smokies in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add our corn. Let that boil for a little bit. Everybody has their own way of doing it, but I don't want to put the corn in too soon because corn can soak up the spice. Doggy. Wish we had about 25 or 30 more of these. Obviously, these are not enough for an entire meal, but that's why we're having a micro crawfish boil. It's a little on the small side, but I think it's about time to dump our crawfish in. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'll let Houston do the honors and dump all of our crawfish in. They're not going to like this, but dump them. Oh, it's hard to do right there. Yeah. The creek. And they're already dead. Look how fast they turn. They're already turning red. Let's bring that back to a boil. Crawfish are turning red. Go ahead and dump all these shrimp in there. These are already peeled and deveined. So we're just trying to get them, just to get them cooked. We're just adding them in so we have a little bit more than, you know, 20 crawdads. All right, I brought our shrimp and crawfish and everything back up to a rolling boil. Killed my fire. I'm going to let them set for a couple minutes and then I'm going to pick up the whole pot. And I'm just going to set it down here in the creek water to let it cool off quickly so I can handle it. And then we're going to have us a little, a little creek side Cajun feast. A micro Cajun feast. Yes. Let that cool our pot off for a minute. What do you think, Bella? Hmm? You want to sniff? You want to give it the little sniff test, Earl? It looks yummy, Dad. Creekside crawfish boil that right there is a video i've wanted to do with you guys for years ever since i was a baby since we started catching those creek monsters down here in the traps like what four years ago yeah we're gonna have to let them cool off though man them boogers are hot it's time for some crawfish yeah all right fellas you guys learned how to eat crawfish the proper way at jimmy houston's a couple weeks ago so, I want an official taste test. I want to see you guys bust open a crawfish and tell me how they are. They're super 
are hot right now. Yeah, they're there. a little warm. They've been sitting for about 10 minutes, but... I mean, they're not tiny, but they're definitely not just mega giants. I want to see you suck the head. I will. Kobe will pull the tail and suck the head? Yeah. There you go. Toss the head in the creek. Eat your tail. The blood vein. I mean, poop vein. Alright. Give us a taste test since you're not going to suck the head. Did you get into yours, Kobe? Well, there's a crawfish right there. What? In that, under the rock. Shocker. There's crawfish in the creek where we've been catching them for two days. How was it? Tastes like the creek. Tastes <laughs> like the creek? Try one of these. Oh, these are obviously going to be good. Oh, I love little smokies. How about the shrimp? Somebody, somebody tear into a shrimp. You don't even have to peel it. Nope. Smokies are so good. Is it spicy? Smokies? Sort of. Let's try it. Immediate hit of spice. <laughs> yeah. They don't have a shell on them, so the spice sticks to them a little better. Yeah. Yep. All right. My first ever boiled crawfish out of our own creek right here there's really nothing to suck out of the head of these there's not a lot of juice to them you get a little bit of seasoning but that's about it here's our tail that's really good need about um, 10 more pounds Corn on the cob, little oh, mini micro corn on the cob. Not fresh caught shrimp. As fresh as they get at Walmart, though. I'll suck the head. And a potato. Houston says he's going to suck the head now. Mmm. That's good stuff. Ooh, I don't know. It's not bad. What? I don't know. Changed your mind, huh? Yeah, well, I don't know. What does it taste like to suck the head? Tastes like the seasoning. It's about all you're going to get. I am not doing it. I'm sorry. Look. Yeah, I figured. Don't bother Jacoby, though. I'd say we uh, pick on this a little bit more, load it up, and take it to the house and let Mom and Katie and them have some. Yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Be your best.